Welcome back to P3P, finally. We're watching recordings, because this is all there is to do tonight. I did the Tartarus run, no big deal. Save some people. Hmm, I guess it goes like this? Welcome! Are you ready to order? Hmm, kind of sucks that the school festival got cancelled. Maybe I could just wear this around the dorm for the day. Sup, Yucatan? Hey, does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Yukari? You're planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? Ugh, forget it. I haven't had a chance to return this yet, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform, not just a costume. Hey, I should take a picture before I give it back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec. Yeah, I should drag Fuka into this too. Wouldn't want to be the only one in the picture looking this way. <gasps> Yukari-chan, those clothes. I've got a couple spare outfits if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Well, wait a second. Don't worry, just hold still. This is a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Uh, wait! Yukari-chan! Oh! Why was she so into that? Uh, there's another new one. What one have we not seen yet? Is it the Ken one, maybe? Yeah, it is. I wonder if this is the last one. Too small to practice in it. <sighs> but come to think of it, I don't have to practice in secret anymore. I don't live on the first floor in this dorm, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. <sighs> I chose a long weapon so I wouldn't lose to an adult's reach. But the longer the weapon, the better it is for taller people. Ow! I hit my shin again. I hope I get taller soon. Oh yeah, where's my milk? Whew. Maybe I should drink more milk. Mm. It hurts my stomach sometimes though. What a creepy video. Let's pretend we didn't watch that. Thank God it's over. I think it might be over permanently. I can't remember any others. Let's go to our room and go to bed because there's literally nothing to do. I'm also not feeling well. Secure that, please. It's December. Oh, Mitsuru, right. I don't know yet. If I have an Empress on me, I might. I feel like before I got out of Tartarus, I should have made sure I got Arcana that I need and Bebe. It's been so long since I played this game, I've kind of forgotten what I was doing. I know I feel the pressure because there's like two months to go. Let's see how many of these I can finish. Oh, son of a bitch. I have to hang out with them right now. Hey, what's up, Ryoji? Could I come to your room? No, but I think I have to say yes. All right, be with Ryoji. I shot him down last time. Is this gonna be creepy? This is platonic, isn't it? Your first time doing what? What are you talking about? The first time I've been in your room, Hamako-chan. It's not though. Ryoji seems to be lost in thought. It just feels familiar for some reason. I wonder if it's just something that I've dreamed about. Or if I wanted to see it so much that it came to me in a vision. <laughs> Smooth the line, Romeo. I think I've had that dream. Ugh. Let's just go with the first one. I'm being serious. I think I did come to see you. Probably to become friends with you. Something like that, but I got it all wrong. 
Uh, got what wrong? I think what we have is different from just being friends. Is it though? I think of people like Junpei-kun and Yukari-san as your friends too, right? But I can't imagine thinking of them in the same way I see you. You have such a kind heart. You shouldn't give so much of yourself to me. I'll probably make you sad. It's just a feeling I get. Even though you're so precious to me, it's probably wrong of me to feel this way. It's like a forbidden love. You can sense the heart-rending sorrow that Ryoji is feeling. What rank was this? It was nine. Now please don't reverse. Please touch me. Oh. Make sure that I exist. Feel for yourself that I'm actually here. You gently touch Ryoji's hand. I had no choice. Your hand is so warm. It brings tears to my eyes. Why is that? Please tell me. It's painful deep inside. He spent a long time with Ryoji. Why? I... There was no choice there. Damn it. We don't have any shadows to kill. I feel gross. Ugh. Speaking of feeling gross. Man. I gotta hang out with Ken now. There's nothing interesting on the news. Ah, fine. I don't have a justice persona on me, really? I thought for sure I covered all my bases. I guess I just forgot justice because I forgot Ken. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Town map. Do I have room for this? I will get my stock. Persona! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I should have a space, right? Hi, Theo. No, not Fuse. Let's see what I've got. I've got a lot of money. Uh, Throne is the best I've got. I have not hit 60s with, uh, justice just yet speaking of low levels like i have not made a tower persona in ages i've been stuck with uh ku colon go back to the dorm take this kid out for fast food all right let's hope this isn't just as creepy as what i did in the afternoon the calcium meal he doesn't seem to have much of an appetite. What's the matter? Ken seems depressed. Sorry. I always make you listen to me talk. It's like I'm depending on you too much. It's not good, huh? Hmm. It's fine. Why are you so... I got points, that's all that matters. I'm going to be serious here, so please listen to what I have to say. Remember the manga I talked about before? The one with the alien hero who fights bad guys? I threw all of them away. What a waste. Uh, why? Because fighting isn't a good thing. But I enjoyed reading it. Don't worry about it. Reading it got me all excited. It was really cool when tons of bad guys are dying too. That can't be good. I hate that I feel that way. Uh... You can change. I want to change. Right now, if I can? How long do I have to be a kid? I want to be recognized. I want you to see me as... This is weird. There's all sorts of uncomfortable social links happening. I was getting worried that yours might taste bad too, if you're with me. Yeah, the food tastes terrible. It was always terrible. Uh, you worry too much. You're so nice, Samako san I'd like to have dinner with you again. I mean it. Well, there are five ranks left, Ken, so probably. Alright, full moon time. 
I just realized this video is about to get a lot more dramatic, isn't it? Counting on you, I guess. Oh, she's sad. She's sad, Robo. Oh, they're not sending me straight home either. Okay, let's hope someone wants to hang out with me. Bebe does. What about Akihiko? No. So how many do we have left, really? I've lost my train of thought. Right, uh, Mitsuru, I can go check to see if she's around. Kari's not there. I hope there's not something special I gotta do to get Ryoji's last rank. Oh no, wait, I think I do know what, how it's gonna happen. I think it'll happen automatically. Good. Alright, let's go to the uh, faculty hallway. See if Mitsuru's around. She is not. Bebe, you're getting it. Lucky Bebe. Cool, and I have temperance on me. Hamako-sama, what shall we make today? I have a sewing book here. Bebe's making a heavy face. It may be best to work with him without asking any questions. Bebe is pointing to a how-to on making a cute bag. He decided to try and make one. It is a lovely color. My art, it feels so cleansed. Amako-sama, you have, you have Subarashi wonderful sense. It seems Bebe is trying to tell you something. While you wait for a chance to ask about it, you finish your project. It is so lovely. Everyone will be Uriyamashi jealous. Felt bag. You could give this to someone while on a date. I want to go somewhere to eat after this. Uh, sure. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. There is something I need to talk to you about. You decided to go to a restaurant with Bebe. That still has his name tag on it. That's a bug. Someone messed up. They forgot to delete that part of the spreadsheet. I'm afraid I might have to go back home. I was able to come here because of my aunt, but my uncle did not agree with the decision. He is yelling at me to come home now, like the Mafia. If I go home, my uncle might never let me return here. Uh, stay. I would love to stay in Nihon. This country is where I want to live and die. But no matter how I try to convince him, he will not listen. I have got to know you well, Amako-sama. I cannot say matinees like this. Bebe has shared the troubles that are on his mind. <laughs> I hate doing this. How many more? Oh, we're only halfway through. It's almost time to say matinee. I'll see you at school, okay? Freaking Bebe. Oh. Hi, how is your day? Tonight is the full moon, but there's no operation. Are you sure about that? No, I've not seen Agus. Are you really sure? There's nothing interesting on the news. Wow, this place is dead. Uh, let's go into town. Did I learn recently that Mutatsu also shows up on Wednesdays? I feel like that might have been a thing. No, it is not. I guess I was thinking of Thursdays. And man drinking alone does not have new dialogue, but he probably will tomorrow. Well, let's go to bed, because there's nothing to do. Good old Persona 3. Nothing to do at night. Get them big Zs. I'm sure nothing will interrupt me. I'm sure this game won't have a big plot dump in the next 15 minutes. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Something terrible has happened here. And yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? 
Forgotten what? The Dark Hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... My enemy. Your enemy? Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before, as adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you... Your true name is... Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <sighs> yes, it was ten years ago. The night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I am the 13th Arcana. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me Death. But when I was born, a part of my power shattered and was strewn about. As a result, I was incomplete. Even so, you were far stronger than I anticipated. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. Under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human girl, who happened to be nearby. I had no other choice. I see. I was inside her all this time and I unwittingly led her to my twelve missing pieces. And then... I see. I understand now. I remember everything. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. It doesn't have to be that way. I guess. Palladian! Don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no worth. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm scared. Juno! Wait, did something happen? Yukari, is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. <sighs> oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh, where would she have gone? I sensed, I sensed a persona, a persona but, it but it quickly disappeared, disappeared. and soon after so that, that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on, She's the, on the Moonlight bridge. bridge! All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. Who 
I am who he is. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What's going on? It's all my fault. What? You did this? Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us, who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer. Born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows. It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. The maternal being will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? That's right. What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me. So in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside her. And by a twist of fate, she later returned here as a transfer student. You mean... Yes. I lived inside her. Inside her? Her special persona awakened. As did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji's? The Apprizer? A and he was inside her body? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. You were in shock at what you just heard. Or maybe not, because it's the second time this game's been re-released. Ryoji lived inside of you for ten years, waiting to make contact with the Twelve Shadows. And the boy named Pharos was actually Ryoji. I can't believe it. So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. You took Ryoji and Igis home. Your condition improved because you rested. <laughs> and Suru walked in. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. <sighs> Causing the downfall of humanity and whatnot. Everyone has gathered. Ryoji is sitting on the far sofa, hanging his head. Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun? There are many questions we need answered. To begin with... You said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. All life will vanish? Are you saying everyone will die? It would be more accurate to say that Everyone will forfeit the will to live. Uh, are you talking about the lost? 
Everyone seems to be coming to the same conclusion. Every human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. The fall. But it's still possible to keep it from happening, right? What? There's no way to prevent it? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Are you saying it's for certain? Yes, you heard the bell. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. My existence is the affirmation of the fall. The affirmation of the fall? Everyone's at a loss for words. It is inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. Ryoji's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. So, I never really thought about it before, but, uh, what's his face? Akutsuki. He got it in his head like he read some prophecy. Where the prophecy comes from, no, no one knows. Shut up, don't worry about it. But he read something about, like, the prince was going to usher in death or whatever. And I guess he thought that was him. That's why he did what he did, but it's, it's actually Ryoji. That can't be, but it is. When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. Conveniently, it'll happen in at the end of the next month. But that's not too far away. <sighs> <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Yeah, for once we agree. Defeating Nyx is impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you. All gifts I received because I was inside her. Of all the people on Earth, it was she who carried me. <sighs> Thanks to that, I am able to give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided, but it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me, as would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the Fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives, and in doing so, the time until the Fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be killed. But thanks to her, there's a part of me that's... human. So if death comes from her hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun... If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. Yeah... Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. Why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the Dark Hour and become intangible. Ryoji... I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways. So don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait! He disappeared, just like Pharos. Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. Ryoji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. That mankind will perish. And the only option you are given is the right to choose how to die. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly brought about a death sentence. You cannot think clearly right now. How does a person choose the way he will die? Do 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 boo! Ba da 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 da
<laughs> we finish more social links and pretend that didn't happen. Uh, everyone's going to mope around for like the next four weeks until New Year's Eve comes. Oh boy, Persona 3, happy game. <laughs>